Hello, my name is Hugo, and today I will show you how easy it is to set up and use Solace Agent Mesh. First, navigate to the Solace Agent Mesh public GitHub repository for all the instructions. Make sure that you meet all the re requirements. This includes Python and a LLM API key. Let's get Solace Agent Mesh started. I will demo using uh, Linux on Ubuntu. So I open my terminal and I create a new directory. Let's call it demo. Then we can create a virtual environment, which is optional, but preferred. And I will activate the virtual environment, then install Solace Agent Mesh. All right, once Solace Agent Mesh is fully installed, we can now initialize sound by running this command. And we will get prompted if we want to use the web interface, in which I will say yes. And we will select the fastest option. Then I will select this provider, require an endpoint, an API key, and a model. Just take in mind that the better the model, the better the responses you will get. Right. Once the project is initialized, can run this command, which will build the configuration files and run Solace Agent Mesh. All right. Once this is done, we can visit this URL, which will have your stock Solace Agent Mesh. So let's test it with a simple hello and verify that everything works. And voila. Now let's try something more complex, such as create a fictional chart. So how it works behind the scenes is that the user, which is me in this case sends a request through the web gateway to the orchestrator the or orchestrator and all the agents have access to llm services and the orchestrator will create a plan and in this case it will need to call the agent global to have access to creating charts so we'll call this one create the chart, res respond to the orchestrator with the file, the orchestrator will complete the response and send it back to the web gateway to us. A very impressive feature of SAM is its ability to create reports. So with the data found online from the RBC training ground, I collected uh, different metrics for different athletes that I will create a report on. If we import the data here, and then we uh, want to generate a detailed report, analyzing the data. And uh, I also want them to find the best athletes. So what happened behind the scenes here is that it received the prompt through the web gateway. The orchestrator made a plan to maybe call multiple agents, one of which could be the database agent. But since we already uploaded the data, we wouldn't need to. But in a complex scenario, it could call multiple databases in real time. So it would access real-time data 
be sent back to the orchestrator. And with the data it has, it can now call, let's say, the global agent to create different files or diagrams. Once those diagrams are completed, they would be sent back to their or orchestrator as files. And the orchestrator could now create a fully complete and detailed uh, report that would be sent back to the web gateway to the user. So now if we have a look at the generated report that has been assembled, if we open the file here, it made a pretty neat HTML report with different sections, data, tables, images, everything. And that was simply generated by a simple prompt and it can be tailored to anyone's needs. And you can see how you can have endless possibilities with, with this tool. If you would like to use the same setup I did in this video, I will put a link out to my own GitHub repository with all the instructions to follow. Please make sure to change the environment variables before running SAM. And the repository will also include the data I used to create the report. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to explore more possibilities with SAM, please visit the main repository for the next steps to take.